But that's the thing about sleep deprivation and sleep deprivation crashes. You never really seem to get out of it. Anyways, it is 4 o'clock in the morning. On Monday, October 26th, I believe. Let me just check the day and time to make sure that we are indeed correct on this. Yeah, we are correct. We're right on that. We got it right. <laughs> You do have to practice working on the time and day, remembering when it is and when it when it isn't. <laughs> uh, I guess it. Well, I think this is part of the thing is when there's a twenty four seven day, because you're a lucid dreamer and part of your dream is exploration within the dreams, and part of your work, I should say, is part of the research is, is exploration within the dreams himself. Um. Your work is, is is along that lines as well. You, 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 the, the sleep isn't as restful as you would like it to be because it's, in, in many ways, almost like being awake. And so in terms of the, the, the stresses put on the body and, and, and due to the mental, the, 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 the mental process, the, the, the psychological processes, which does have a physiological impact on the body, so... You no, know, should say a physio physiological effect. I don't need to see the body. <sighs> don't need to say the body because uh, that's what physiology means. Physiology means the body. So it's redundant. <sighs> Anyways, taxing the body that much. Uh, does present issues. It does cause problems. I am working my way out of it. And I've got some major... In November, I've got some major upgrades coming that will, uh, will really sort of set the uh, final stages for finishing the music studio. And then I can start working on the um, the opening theme and ending theme for the vlog for our our our, our life as uh, Cyborg Alpha, and I have several other projects uh, uh, on the um, uh, in 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 the design works, uh, so that I, I will be by uh, the new year sufficiently ready uh, to launch uh, other shows in addition to what I have here. And then what it is, it's about being visible. Uh, we are, uh, if, if you're a channel, if you're a, a person out there, you're in competition with other channels. And not only that, you're, you're in competition with the TV shows. And, you know, people only have so much time to watch TV. Uh, there are people who watch a lot of TV, but there are other people who have limited time. So they select their shows. And so you don't have a 24-7 uh, you know, availability where, where where people are just watching your channel all day long. They're they're picking and choosing. They're going to other places. They'll watch a bit of this and watch a bit of that. And this is something you have to sort of consider. Uh, and this is what I consider as uh, as uh, as a viewer on my YouTube stroll is that right now uh, I'm uh, on the Clintus path and I'm at um, I'm at uh, what you call it uh, the Loftus Party of Six. Uh, I'll probably go into uh, less, less uh, junk and more journey afterwards. My time seems to have flipped a little bit. I'm going to do, because it's 4 o'clock now, I'm going to do the gaming and meditation uh, until 5. Uh, start the vlog for Monday. Uh, I ended up leaving the scooter at my parents' house. Uh, simply because uh, I, after I got there, I had something to eat, and almost immediately right after, uh, what after I ate, uh, my body started going into a um, sleep depriv deprivation crash. It, 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 for some reason, after I eat, uh, and it's sort of like the food coma, uh, my body just simply knocks out, and I'm not in a condition uh, to drive. It's not safe at that, you know, in, in that condition. So, I do have things to work on. I do have uh, some physiology to work on. Uh, but bit by bit, well, I think we'll get there. I think that things will work, end up working okay.
In a few weeks, the view to the right of me, the room here is going to be obscured. It'll be a whole new look. Uh, I'm going to be doing some fixing up and some cleaning up. <laughs> Anyways, it is 5 hours and 13 minutes into the day of Monday, October 25th, 2020. And we are beginning the vlog for Monday. And which will last until Tuesday. Typically around the same time now, we'll, we'll start the vlog for Tuesday. We seem to be is maintaining that gaming schedule uh, between 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning, or between 4 and 6, uh, as when we uh, end and start the video, the, the vlog. Uh, just, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was, yeah, Sunday's vlog. No, Saturday's vlog. Yeah, the Saturday, the Saturday, Sunday vlog, the one day vlog. Uh, uh, has a scooting section in it, so it's going to be uh, uh, a pretty interesting. It's going to be a longer vlog than typical because it's got the scooting section in it. Uh, <clears throat> Today, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I've lost my thought train of thought for now. I was thinking of things. I was, I was just I was thinking of more along the lines of the YouTube stroll. And particularly on Clintus. Clintus and it's our life are having major problems. Clintus has already gone from YouTube. Uh, he's on Twitch now. And uh, he's having a hard time. Look, this is what happens. Every once in a while, uh, the creators will get into these binds where they don't know where, what the next direction is going to be because they get into a situation that is sort of... Uh, Intractable. They, you, you, they can't get out of. They can't sh shift it, and it's not. It's not anything that they're necessarily doing. It's just there are things being done to them, to their channel, that they can't control. And the the, the choice is you either quit, you know, would give up and leave, or you find some way. Because a lot of times you can't fight these obstacles. There, there is no, there is no fight to the obstacle. And that's where you have to find your workaround. And a person who works on Linux uh, or, or, or in that type of uh, technical field where you're doing hands-on work and things have to keep going, uh, uh, there isn't an option necessarily to stop. That's the way it is here, 24-7. Uh, there is no stop. And so when something breaks down and has to be repaired, you can't simply switch things off or, or, or take a couple days vacation. Uh, things must keep, keep going. So you find workarounds. Uh, to get the function that was done by that one piece of equipment or thing that broke down until you can get the chance to do a repair. And again, the repair is in the hot spot. It's, it's while you're still going. You're not stopping. You're not slowing down. You, you, what you're doing is you're, allowed, you're, you're shifting your structure. You're, you're reorganizing, restructuring to deal with the issue that popped up that you didn't expect, uh, and this is kind. Of, this is something that I work on a, on a regular basis. Is working known as my efficiency model. Uh, is how efficient am I? You know, how much can I get done for the least amount? And efficiency is how much can you get done for the least amount of energy and uh, least amount of effort. And that means that when you ha have an off day or you have an issue that pops up, even when you're in emergency mode, you're still getting things done. And that's the sort of where some of these channels, which they set up as a business, and they thought it was a nice idea. Uh, they're kind of finding out the hard way that there are down days. There, not everything is always going to be going up. That there are going to be financial strikes. Uh, uh, my friend uh, uh, kind of found that out the hard way when you know everyone says, "Oh, you're in business. Hey, I'm going to go in business too. I'm going to become a businessman." Well, he opened up a restaurant and. Uh, it wasn't what he expected. Uh, you see the cash coming in, but the thing is, you don't also see the background expenses. And when he began totaling up his his background expenses compared to what the cash was coming in, uh, there wasn't enough, or in many cases, there was barely enough. And then, of course, this whole uh, chronic gas thing hit, and all the lockdowns hit, uh, and he was like, "What do I do now?" And what he ended up doing is he ended up uh, doing takeout. He rearranged his 
his, his setup and he started doing takeout. And he's doing better than he ever did before. So he's actually improved in terms of uh, his business situation because of the chronic gas lockdown. You know, the great fart panic of 2020. But the thing is, is that YouTubers don't necessarily expect, expect this. They go get these nice houses and this is like, oh, you love the houses. Well, you know, are you sure your your business is going to be around 5, 10, 20, 30 years from now? It, 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 YouTube is a business. And what happens, other channels, like like, like let's say Disney and stuff like that, they're, com they're competitors. As much as you may, you know, as much as you may love Disney, oh, I love Disney, I'm a Disney person. Well, if you're on YouTube, guess what, you're a competitor. And Disney will be nice up front. They'll have their their salespeople will be very nice, very polite. But then they have their pit bulls behind the scenes. These are the people who deal with competition. They are the ones who are designed to get rid of competition, and this is what's been going on. And they did this to uh, to, to the shade tarts. Disney screwed around shade tarts. And they're more about that's why they're off. Why why there is no more shade tarts is because Disney screwed them over so badly. It's, it, it, they left nothing of them left. There was nothing left, and they did the same thing to Clintus. They did the, they did the same thing to the gamers. I mean, all the people on Twitch who were gamers, as live streaming gamers, they were all on YouTube at one point in time. They but they, you know there was a competitive move that says we don't want these people here on YouTube anymore. And you and again, YouTube itself is is in the Shark Tank. It's it's getting hit on left and right. And the thing is, is that most of these major uh, 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 content providers like, like uh, Amazon, uh, like you have Amazon Prime, you have uh, Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu. They're all they're all in competition with YouTube. And if YouTube, which is a free service, goes away, hey, better for them because they get more viewers. They get more viewership. It's a Shark Tank. If there's blood in the water, there's going to be a feeding frenzy. And that's what you have to sort of deal with is that, yes, okay, YouTube is nice, but there's also the business aspect of it. There is the reality of competition. And this is how you have to set your business model. Business model. I'm comfortable because I've been in business now for about 30 years. I understand there's going to be ups and downs. I understand there are going to be challenges. And that's how I work with my efficiency model to restructure and, and deal with things that, that unexpectedly pop up. If there is an, uh, an, uh, a package opening video in, in the middle segment, there will be more likely than not a uh, vlog ride home on an e-scooter. Well, from the depths of sleep, Awoke to the sound of hello delivery. It's uh, 14 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Monday, uh, October. Uh, it's gone for me now. 26. And that means we have a package opening. Actually, we have two packages to open. Okay, here's the first one. Can't show you the other side because it's got the uh, the address on it and everything. So, didn't require the scissors for this one. Oh, nice. Here's the box. Just give it a few seconds. It is a reflector for the back of my scooter. Uh, it's supposed to be battery operated and uh, I should be able to charge it. And uh, it gives me an extra sense of, uh, an extra bit of protection as I'm riding. The, the back light is very down low. And while it is visible, 
uh, you want more you want more visibility so I'm gonna add this light here to it this light uh, goes on the back of the seat and that will give you uh, something higher up so got the instructions here it is here this is the the device so this will go on the this will go on the back of the seat and it charges up I have to charge it with, with the USB charger uh, and as I stop it senses it's got a motion sensor in there apparently uh, it begins to it begins to uh, flash that I'm stopping so and then it goes to back to a solid red again. So it's, it's, it's a good thing, good feature. So let's get to the second package now, which is a little larger. This is the one here. This is the second larger package. Does it have an easy opening? Or do I need scissors as well? It looks like it has a pretty easy opening. Don't think I'm going to need the scissors. Ah, okay. Second item, second charger. Sometimes you're not you're not always sure what's going to happen with with, with uh, let's make sure I get the uh, second charger. Of course, everything's from China. Yeah, that's better. The light from the actually the light from the monitor was causing that glare. Okay, let's take a look at this and see what we have. Just this down. Uh, okay, very good. I've got the connector that I need. Very nice. This is a very nice design. Check the voltage. See, everything seems to be good. I will be testing this out tonight, actually. And it comes with the proper North American Plus, so... Yay for that. As I said, the scooter's still at my parents' house. I wasn't able to drive it home last night. We'll see what happens again tonight. Uh, the weather seems to be okay. I'm not too sure. Uh, if it's, uh, I've got the proper winter gear, because it is cold out. So I'll be riding back tonight. Uh, and, uh, then I'll test the charger and see how it ends up working out. So that's that. And, uh, see ya, uh, tonight on the road, probably. Okay, good. Okay. Call me right? All right. Bye. Bye now. Uh, there we go. I'm doing improved. Uh, well, improvements. Uh, upgrades to the scooter. I got a second back light so I am more visible at night because this is a night ride after all. Uh, whoops. And 
and from the weather, because it is rather cold out, I am in a ways ready for the winter. Got a new charger, so I have one at the house and one at my office. And so I don't have to be bringing the chargers around with me anymore, uh, unless I go to somebody else's house. Uh, much better. In my house where it's toasty warm, you get rather lethargic. But out in the cold air, like we are now, uh, it's refreshing, and you begin to wake up. Uh, it's hitting, going to hit about just about uh, 35 degrees outside. Did the successful two-way passage on a very narrow street. Uh, cars parked on one side anyway, so okay. We'll keep going through. tricky going by. So now let's do our stop. Okay. Alright. Stoplight, cold weather, I'm gonna blow my nose. Well, now that I'm riding, I feel better. <laughs> it was a good dinner. Uh, my dad and I took turns. Uh, uh, it was sort of like a cooking competition. 
Uh, so he's learning how to uh, slice, slice the meat for fajitas a lot thinner now. And he really did a good job. So this is the ride after a few fajitas, after, after a couple of fajitas. Ugh. Not enough, nothing, no, no car behind me on the pad. So it looks like there's one coming up, but I'm not too sure. So we'll have to wait until it looks like there's one coming. Oh, there's someone on the other side. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna trip the lights uh, uh, shortly. See if it changes. Oh, here we go. We got someone on the left hand going on the left side, going the other direction. So I should get a, I should get a, the signal now. Here we go. And I had a car behind. Me. Best of both worlds. That's a van in it. Oh. Now I'm a little far back on the seat. So I'm going to correct my position in this light. my position in the seat. There we go. Better. <laughs> I checked I took a look at the price of a GoPro uh, off a of, off a of regular store, even on Amazon. Five hundred dollars and up. That's how you have. That's how you have accidents. There are people who don't think that oh, I can squeeze through at this time, but you're not in a tiny little car. You're in a truck. <laughs> and even scooters, when you're trying to sneak by, it doesn't necessarily mean the driver has actually seen you and is aware that you're there. And this is how people get killed. But uh, I guess if, you, if you're driving and you're not considering that, then this is sort of how things end up going. Uh, I can't wait for that, for that clear windshield to come. My eyes are tearing up a little bit uh, from being on the scooter in the cold. But it usually clears up in, in, in after a while.
uh, take the time to reposition my foot. <coughs> kilometers is about it for now. At least for another couple months. I probably won't be getting above the 25 uh, kilometer mark until uh, spring. But there are a lot of new conditions I still have to get used to. And, 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 well, well, I'm used to that bus now. It wasn't freaking out the way as before. Or you, you were worried about the bus sort of creeping up on you and You don't know what to do when, the, when, when there's a vehicle that big around you. Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. Uh, I, I could say that much. But the, vlog, the, the voice on the vlog, uh, on the scooting vlogs, are uh, much clearer. Uh, more is being uploaded. There's still more to come. Of course, when I get back to my place, I've got to uh, 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 unload the, uh, the chip. It's more or less filled. So that's going to be uh, well, a chore. <laughs> I've, got to find, I've, got, I've got to offload stuff from, from one drive to another drive before I can put it on to the... Uh, slow, down, slow down a little bit here. I'm about to see this sort of pull out. We're done. We're going to pass. The issue with this, of course, because these buses do travel in caravans, there's another bus behind me. But I'm not aware of that yet. So, we'll deal with that when it com the time comes, uh, if I'm even aware of it. from point to point, from camera to camera, uh, my time measures about 16 minutes. So I looked at the vlog to see how long it took me, uh, and the vlog uh, was basically about 16 minutes. So, not bad. The issue primarily is sort of keeping your focus while you're on the road. And the more tired you are, the more difficult that becomes. Of course, the issue, this is what I have, I guess it's part of my fatigue, I have these twitches. And the twitches when you're on the bike aren't good. Because it shakes the handlebar, it shakes the way you, the way you move, and makes some movements on the scooter uh, that, not, 
much more uh, complex and difficult. So I'll let this guy go. So we're coming up on the bus here, so. Stopped. I don't know why he stopped here, but anyways. This is not going. Apparently, he's not there. I know there's a Tim Hortons just a little bit away from here, so maybe he went out to get a cup of coffee from Tim Hortons. Uh, and that's why he stopped there. He's right across from the Tim Hortons there. Uh, usually about a, not even a five minute walk from from where he is. So didn't avoid the bumps, but anyways. stretch this is this is the, near the end take a right turn not at this street but the next one it's my street there and uh that'll be more or less it that will be our night so we'll have a day ride going in although it's going to be night right now because uh, uh the sun goes down early enough that uh, by six o'clock it's already dark up so <laughs> you're gonna get a night ride either way until spring time, until the spring comes to like, like April, May. In April, May, things the day will start to lengthen again, and uh, well, in terms of being light out at that time, and we'll be back to our uh, day rides. <laughs>